Rendering jewelry with watercolor can be very simple. Hi, I'm PJ Chen. I have taught jewelry design for over 14 years in college. I'm going to show you step-by-step -step process of rendering a cabochon gemstone today in this tutorial. Let's get started. Let's talk about what material do we need. In this tutorial, I'm using Bristol pad. It doesn't matter what brand it is, as long as it's a Bristol pad and it's really smooth surface. For the watercolor, I'm using Winsor & Newton Cobman Watercolor Sketch Pocket Box. It comes with 14 different colors. Um, you, you will also need uh, opaque white. I picked Copic opaque white. It works really nice and smooth. Let's take a look on the brush. There are several brushes you can use. Um, they, you can use uh, Princeton Art and Brush number six. You can also use Winsor Newton Cotman Brown number six or number eight. This is the, my favorite brush. This is a Winsor Newton Finest Sable number one for highlight. In this tutorial, I use a lot of uh, Chinese calligraphy brush. You don't need all the brush for this tutorial. This is just the option for you. You also need an automatic pencil and eraser for starting the uh, sketch. Let's take a look on the construction. For an oval cabochon stone, we're going to assume the light is coming from the left top corner. The darkest area will close where the light is coming from, so it will be on the left top corner of the cabochon. On the right bottom corner, because it's transparent, so you're going to see the reflection from the ground. Where I draw the circle, it's going to be highlight or called hot spot. Sometimes I like to put a dot on the right bottom corner, just personal preference. Let's take a look on the structure of the ring. I'm going to sketch really quick. It may not be completely correct on the perspective, but just want to tell you where I'm going to put the uh, what color. So I have a dome ring here in size flat. So we are going to give in a gradation. Both sides are going to be darker. On the bottom of the ring shank, the lower part is going to be dark. So we're going to put those brownish color and then the darkest part is going to put the very dark brown color to show in the high contract. Inside of a ring shank, we're going to do the gradient from the dark, which is the dark brown color, to the light, which is highlight white color. And also we're going to blend it back to the dark. So that was showing for the inside of a ring shank. The rest of the ring shank will be yellow color. Right there, I will put a little bit dark brown color, same as the one on the bottom. And we are going to use the structure from the cabochon, just put it right there on the ring. So here's a, is I'm going to speed it up three times uh, to show you how I draw this one.
Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and share my video so I can make more free video for you. See you next time.